In this lesson, we will discuss the options to use Auto Align and Smart Blend within your morph. You can download the project called Auto Align Smart Blend, and you can work along with me, or you can try this on your own after watching the tutorial. I'm going to start this lesson with the understanding that you either already know how to do a basic morph using Reflex, or you've watched the tutorials on the basics. If there is a basic concept that you do not understand, I suggest you go back and watch those tutorials. In this first example, we can see that I've already done a pre-comp using a from image and a to image. You may notice that these two images are very similar. In this case, we may be able to get by doing a morph without ever drawing a single spline. This is how we do it. We've already added Reflex Morph and set up our picture keys. Let's go to about halfway through the timeline, here at frame 16. You can see that most of the features nearly line up. Let's see what happens if we check the Auto Align feature. Look at that, nearly a perfect match automatically, without any hand-drawn splines. Let's see the RAM preview. There is a little bit of the edge that seems to tear here at the bottom. We can use the Smart Blend option to fix that. With Smart Blend checked, if only one image covers a particular pixel, then Reflex will take the color from the image that covers that pixel. Of course, if neither image covers the pixel, the resulting pixel will remain completely transparent. You can see that's a much better result. Let's take a look at another example where the images are not quite as close matching. We can do the same thing. I've already set this up and added Reflex Morph and set the picture keys. You can see that these two images are not as similar as the last two we saw. In this case, we can still use Auto Align and Smart Blend. So you see here, if we toggle Auto Align on and off, that it does help to line up the similar features. We just have to add a few simple splines, like I've done here, to tighten up the detail a bit better. I still didn't spend much time with these splines, though. Actually, I still see a problem here at the hairline, so I will add one more spline to the from image. I can activate animation and adjust the spline to match the two image and take a look at the RAM preview. Also, I see we still have some tearing here at the edge. We can check the hold edges, which will eliminate the fading in and out at the edges. Keep in mind, hold edges doesn't always work well with Auto Align. If this is the case, then you may just need to pull another trick out of your bag, like blurring it or feathering or a little roto. You can figure that out. These are all just tools for you to try and make your job a little bit easier. One last thing to note, using Auto Align and Smart Blend will add some rendering time to your morph. This is how you can use Auto Align and Smart Blend in Reflex Morph.